Hello everyone, welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. And today we're going to continue on further. Uh, I'm going to go over here uh, into the machine because um, I, th I think that's a song. Uh, I'm probably thinking of Sonic Heroes again. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's like I don't know, like Into the Machine is like a ACDC song or something maybe Aerosmith it, it, it kind of sounds like that I'm not entirely sure oh dear oh, there we go. and just like that I am dead First death of the play of the let's play. Let's go. But yeah, if you collected any, oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm pretty sure. No, that's not... I forget how to. Uh... I forgot how to bring up the hide in this game, but. Um, basically, any any uh, any bottles you've collected before will stay collected until actually will stay will stay collected. So you don't need to replay any levels if you um, uh, if you already collected them. Thank you, Bentley. We are, we've already been through that. Oh, wait. Can't forget the bottles. Of course, uh, if, there are, if I do miss any, I'll be sure to head back at a later time. Uh, let's see here. I don't think... I think that's pretty much it. But boom Oh, oh jeez. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, camera. How I miss the... Oh. Oh. And there we go. Yeah. Oh, what do you want? Really? Sorry. So, my dog just really likes to intrude on other people's business. That being my business. Uh. Okay. Nothing here. Ow. Oh. Okay. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Take care of that guy. Climb up this rope. Uh, is there anything else? Can I get on top? Oh wait, no, that's not something I can get on top of. <laughs> I thought I could. Makes for a good place to hide stuff. Now we're dodging propellers. We're climbing over on some pipe. Oop, that was a key. So, I'm actually, uh, the games I've actually played before, uh, it, it, the, the kind of games I grew up with are actually, uh, Jack and Daxter. Can you go away? You know, uh, specifically Jack and Daxter 1, uh, Precursor Le Legacy. That has, that's, uh, like, out of the, uh, part of the big three, uh, PS2, uh, mascot platformers, uh, Jack and Dexter was the one that I grew up with, and then Ratchet and Clank later, and then I got Sly 3, so, uh, now that I think about it, I had Jack 1, uh, grown up, 
And then later on, I got a Ratchet and Clank going Commando, which is uh, Ratchet and Clank 2. And then, oh dear. And then, uh, I got Sly 3. So, yeah, what, what, what are the odds? And then, and then later on, I went and got uh, the, the games on PS2. Uh, except for um, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to, like, play... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to play, like, Sly... Uh, not Sly. Uh, Ratchet and Clank 1. Because of how dated it is. Like... I don't know. I... Like, Ration Clank 2 pretty much became the... Ration Clank 2 be became the uh, design for Ration Clank going forward. That I'm not I'm not entirely sure if... Um, I'm not even entirely sure if, if uh, playing Ration Clank 1 would... Like, I'm not sure if that's something that I want to do, but I uh, I actually actually I kind I kind of want to get it just for completion, I guess. You know, I mean, I got I got all the Jack games, I got all the Sly games, so why not just uh, you know tie the knot and whatever. Yeah. Try two, two, seven. All right. Oh, oops, wrong way. Two, two, seven. As far as I know, if you actually use this as like a walkthrough to find out the codes beforehand, I don't think it would actually work. Uh, you would need to collect all the all the clues in order to even interact with the safe. Alright. And now we got a roll. Which, uh, I found out is actually the fastest, uh, mode of transportation in this game. Uh, the reason being is that, uh, this game has time trials. Uh, if you go back to any level beforehand, uh, that you've already finished, uh, there will be, uh, there will be a, um, a place... Uh, there, 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 will, there will be like a little uh, time trial pickup for you to start time trials. Kind of like in Crash Bandicoot. Uh, and, you know, and, and from what I've uh, heard, the time trials in Sly 1 is ludicrous. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, they are really hard. I think I've only been able to do one. And I think most of the bonus content is locked away behind the, uh, it is locked away behind the time trials, so you, you would have to go after the time trials just so you can actually see all the bonus content, but, uh, which I think is mostly just back, uh, behind the scenes stuff. But yeah, that is two for two for fully completed levels. But yeah, uh, to get the best ending in in, in this game, uh, it is you just need to collect the, the clues, the clue bottles, and that's what I intend on doing. Uh, all right, a high class heist. Vandalism! <laughs> I will take all your stuff, Raleigh. All right, I think this is a. Uh, this level is is in regards to barrels, cause. Uh, well, well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see going forward. That out. All right. Uh, something I forgot to mention. Uh, oh jeez. I forgot to mention. Uh, if you see little tiny safes, uh, like that one over there to the right, uh, they hold uh, three 
uh, I don't know if it's three, but they hold a small collection of, of um, blue bottles. All you gotta do is break them open. Okay, there we go. And I think this one is just generally like really short. So a lot of the blue bottles are like bunched up together. Aha! Yes, there is. Halfway there. Just gonna do one more look around. Okay, so I think all I think the rest of them are this way. Ooh, ow! Dang it! Crud. Good thing I hit the checkpoint. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. It sucks how, uh, in this in this game alone, uh, that Sly just uh, Sly, I don't. I, in some ways, Sly dying in one hit is some is um. It's not, like, fun. It's, it just kind of makes the game a little frustrating. Trip. Well, so far, I haven't died to any... So far, I haven't really died to any of the, uh... The alarm systems. Gotta be real quiet. That's how you sneak up on someone. You always gotta have some bass player uh, fall on you. I think that's like one thing that this game is known for. Uh, outside of like the the idea of the main character is a thief, it's the fact that whenever you do in the thief move, it you just you know base just sort of <laughs> pulls out the, the little the funny the little funny shtick okay um can i jump up no uh, okay so now it's time to backtrack yeah i i, I might i might just cut back to the <laughs> To the uh, safe. Make make that make that an editor's note. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Huzzah! These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I and look wonder... at that. Yes, I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. And there we go. Now the rest of the levels is going to be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, oh geez. Now, a thief that can actually go through stuff uh, like a ghost would be a very formidable opponent. 
I don't know why I'm bringing that up. Uh, un un unless there's like some story about like a thief who died and became and became known as a ghost thief because <laughs> the ghost keeps stealing stuff. Like, why why are you why are you stealing stuff, ghost man? This is not something that you should be worried about. Oh dear. I think I died. Oh, nope. Phew. Lucky me, I had a lucky charm. And with that, that is the end of the level. Check in time. It's 15 minutes. Uh, I can probably go. F I can probably go for one more level, which I. I think, actually, let's use a Banakicon. Nothing. Okay. Well, there's a level up there. So I'll be heading over there. But first, uh, yep. Break this open. Get that lucky charm. And I think every time, I think every time you go into a level, uh, the stuff outside, the stuff in the hub just resets, so I collected this earlier, so you can just collect it again. Little tidbit, if you ever plan on playing this game. Oh wait, hold on. There is, yeah, there's a level up here. So, oh, you know what? Let's let's just go to this one. So this is actually the part that I actually I think I I believe this is the part that I I recall. Oh geez, this is the part that I actually recall. Um, play, playing uh, playing the game first time. Something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough. Isn't that what I just said? Heh! <laughs> Science joke. So I guess I am going to this level after all. <laughs> the fire down below. I think this is like the one level where. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh this this level is quite something. I I don't I don't know if this is like the uh I don't know if this is like the last I don't know I don't know if this is like the last uh level to do this, but this is the one level that has a safe in the beginning of the level. So that means two things. One, I'm keeping that safe uncollected for or unbroken for the moment. And two, there's going to be a huge amount of backtracking. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be cutting out the level in that case. Or, actually, no. Wait, hold on. There's actually something that I can do. Is actually quicker so what I'm going to do in actuality is that I am going to go through the this entire level once collect collect every single uh, uh, clue bottle that I can or uh, or you know actually do that and uh, exit the level because turns out uh, I, th I think I uh, think if you if you finish the level with all the level with all the clues uh, collected and the safe not collected or then the safe not opened then uh, 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 hold on I need I need to think <laughs> if you exit the level uh, at the end at the end of the level then you then you'll be able to collect the safe just by going 
just by uh, entering the level normally. So, yeah. Ooh. I I'm I'm not that good at explaining things uh, uh, as I'm playing them. Okay, so how to actually use this? I think they're all up there. Yeah, yeah, I believe they're all up there. Do, do. Who would put inner tubes in a furnace? I mean, come on, man. Unless, unless your skin is able to resist the heat of molten lava, I don't think you should uh, like. I don't think you should uh, be using, uh, you know, inner tubes. A very hot place. And I think that is it. But one cursory look over there. That's bar. Alright. I think that's it. Ooh. Fighting enemies in this game is always, like, really scary. Because you don't know if you're going to get hit or or if you're going to hit the enemy. Very scary stuff. And it's oh, I, I always have that kind of anxiety. Just over there. Yeah, it's, it looks like that. Let me check down here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Boom. Now it's just a matter of getting to the end. And there we go. But I'm just going to end the level right here. And since I've already collected every single clue bottle, it should be saved. I say should because I'm not I guess I I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I've never actually done this. So, going to head on back. Whoa. Whoa, oh, jeez. There we go. And... Whoa, 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 Sly. There we go. There we go. Safe is collected. What do we get? Outstanding. Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. I've actually never really used the slow down the slow the boat speed mechanic. Don't know what else to call it. Because, um, I believe 
Uh. Oh wait. Does that actually work? Oh, there we go. Wow. It actually does. I I think I have to be in a. <laughs> I think I actually have to be, uh, uh, I have to be in, in, um, combat for that to even work. So, yeah, I'm not using it. But yeah, with that done, we only got one level to go in this world, or not world, uh, in this area. Even though I could really go right now to the, uh, to the other section, I'm going to clear out this entire first part. So... With that said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next part. Take care.